Hello and welcome to Circle Time. Sue, come on out here. It's time to say hello to our friends. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Well, Sue, you can have a seat because I want to show our friends how our science experiment from yesterday turned out. Yesterday, we had three jars with water in them. One had red water, one had blue water, and one had yellow water. We did the traveling rainbow science experiment, and we let this sit all night long, and this is how it turned out. The colorful water traveled all the way up the paper towel and even down into the other jar. Red and blue made purple. And over here, the red and the yellow made green in this empty jar. That was a pretty cool science experiment. Fred got to see the whole thing on his shelf. Hi, Fred. Let's do our class job now and feed Fred together. Good morning, Fred. <laughs> now let's pick a pointer. Will you help me decide? Hmm, which pointer should I pick? <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Look, it's a finger, but the monster finger is on top of it. So that one's just funny. Do you want to pick the funny pointer? The month is May, and today's number goes right there. Let's reach into the jar and see how we're going to count. <gasps> Running. So stand up, let's do some running and counting today. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, run, 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 nine, ten. So today is May 10th. Can you say that? May 10th. Good job. If you go up to the top, you'll see today starts with the letter T. T says T, 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 like a ticking clock. So what day of the week is it today? Tuesday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, let's check our Tuesday weather. Look outside and see what the weather's like for you today. Maybe it's sunny or cloudy, rainy or windy. What's your weather like? When I do like this with my microphone, shout it out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is, it is, it is out today. It is, it is, <coughs> excuse me, it is out today. <laughs> I had the sneezies. Maybe it's all the pollen because what season is it right now? Spring and there's lots of pollen because the flowers are springing up along with the grass and the leaves on the trees. Well, that was our calendar time, but I have some great ideas. If you want to stick around, I'll tell you that your letter today could be letter G, and G is for galaxy. So if you want to, you can decorate letter G by coloring it with a black crayon. You can see the stars and galaxies in outer space when it's dark at night. 
If you want to, you can practice writing the letter G and I'll show you how to write it right now. All you have to do is swirl around like a galaxy. Start at the top, curve around and in. That's the uppercase or big letter G. Swirl around and in. If you wanna practice the little letter G, all you have to do is just make a ball and it looks to me kind of like a kitty cat's tail. I'll show you. A ball and a kitty cat's tail. <laughs> a ball and then go down and curve around. If you'd like to, you can practice your letters on this handwriting paper. You can get a copy of it, parents, at my blog. Here's that big G. Curve around and in. And there's that little G, a ball and a kitty cat's tail that goes all the way down into the basement. Well, now that we know what letter G looks like and how to write it, let's talk about the sound that letter G makes. Letter G says G, G, G. It kind of sounds like we're gulping. G, G, G. Can you get a pretend cup and gulp some water? G, G, G. <laughs> That's what letter G says. Let's practice it with some cups that I have. Maybe you have some fun cups like this too. What does letter G say? G, 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 G. <laughs> Look at this one. It has puppy dogs on it. What does letter G say? G, 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 G. Ooh, Star Wars. What does G say? G, 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 G. I think this one is Lego Unikitty. What does letter G say? G, 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 G. Very good job. So practice with your fun cups that you have today. Letter G says G, 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 like drinking water. Well, I have a really cool art project that I'd like to show you how to do. So let's head on over to the art table. Well, if you want to make a g -g -g galaxy picture today, all you'll need is an old toothbrush or just go to the kitchen and borrow your kitchen scrubber. You can use some washable white paint so it won't hurt the scrubber and you can throw it in the dishwasher after. So I'm just using some paint. And that kitchen scrubber that I borrowed. I'm just going to take the tip of it and I'm going to put it down into the paint. And then I'm going to use my fingers to rub across the scrubber. Look what happens to the black paper. Whoa, it's making a galaxy. Now this is a pretty messy art project. So make sure you're wearing old clothes that you use washable paint and cover the area that you're working on. Look at all those stars, wow, and planets. That does look like a cool galaxy. If you don't have an old toothbrush and you don't want to use your kitchen scrubber, you can also just take a white crayon and you could color some stars like that. So that is our art project for today. We made a galaxy. For science today, we're going to make a Milky Way galaxy. We'll of course use some milk. I'm going to pour some milk into the bottom of this plate. Next, I'm going to add some food coloring. Watch what happens when I add the food coloring. Hey, it just kind of stays in one place. That's because the milk molecules are stuck together. Let's add some blue. And let's see, maybe some red. Now, I think I can make those milk molecules unstick. I'm going to be using some dish liquid. Let's see what happens when I pour the dish liquid onto this milk. It's going to make the milk molecules spread out and you'll see the color spread out too. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool. 
It does look like a cool galaxy in space. I'll swirl it around even more. Whoa, that's pretty. <laughs> what do you think will happen if I put more dish liquid on top of this? Do you think it will spread out even further? Let's try it and see. Oh, nothing happened. That's because the milk molecules are already spread out. When they spread out, they took all the colors with them. And wow, that does look like a galaxy. Well, I hope that gives you some ideas for letter G is for galaxy. For story time, if you want to, you could read the book that is called Peppa in Space. This is a scholastic book and it's a lot of fun. I'll put the link below so you can get a copy of it. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.